guys, so we're going to hit a delay here. Uh, i got a few things I've got to address. And uh, it's not great news, so luckily we have a few extra bungs. So this fuel rail was not the greatest fit anyway. So I'm going to take advantage of a bad situation and make it better. I'm going to, I already ordered the tubing to build my own. So I'm going to build my own fuel rail from scratch. I've already got the spare fitting for the end. I need to get an AN-4 for this end. And we'll build that from scratch. I'll show a video on that, hopefully, if I remember to record it. The exhaust. When welding a bung into the exhaust, you should be welding short little bursts here, let it cool. Short little burst here, let it cool fully. Short, 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 cooling fully in between. Otherwise, you wind up in the situation I'm in. Okay? This bung is now warped so severely that the threads inside distorted and welded themselves to this bung, the plug in the bung. So, I have to cut this off. But, fortunately... My O2 sensor came with its own bung. It's a bigger bung, longer, but it'll work. So we'll go ahead and cut that off this afternoon if the rain stops. And I'll plan to weld that on myself. Uh, throttle bodies came back with more porosity than I've ever seen in my life. So the new fuel rail will bolt in here and here. Or here I haven't decided yet but I'll work with these because these are expensive and I really don't feel like replacing them the worst of all the oil pan okay this is after digging out you can see that big old crater and there's still porosity in the bottom of it that is less than a mil thick now so this oil pan damn now I lost focus there we go this oil pan is trashed there's nothing I can do with it so the nearest oil pan to replace it is in the UK. So I'm looking at probably a month to get that. I'm going to have to use the oil pan that's on the car. I'm going to drill I the car, the bike. I'm going to drill a hole in that and tap it for MPT and see if I can just thread straight into the pan without putting a bung on. Uh, if that's the case, the pan that's on there will get drilled and tapped, and I'll just use that. So that's what we've lost so far. Now, what have we gained? I have completed the battery box. Yes, it's held together with zip ties, just like about 80% of this bike. Why? Because these zip ties are light. Everything is about weight reduction. So these are light. This whole thing probably weighs two or three pounds. And that's with a steel plate on the bottom. The steel plate, there's thermal paste behind this so that it is heat synced to this assembly. So that should dissipate some of the heat. Got the battery installed, retained, and the main shutdown relay. It's a mechanical relay. It's going to be to a switch. It's also going to go to tether first. So if I break away, it kills all power to the entire bike, everything. Fuel pump, ignition, nitrous, everything will break. So that's good. It's where we're at, guys. It's raining. I can't put any of this on the bike. I woke up sicker than a dog this morning. I uh, took... 1500 milligrams of freaking levofloxin so i'm feeling a whole hell of a lot better i broke that fever in about 40 minutes so if i can make it through tomorrow with no fever i'm off to work again but uh yeah and oh i'm gonna try do, 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 this crap to glue that headlight in yee yee so we'll see if this works it says it dries cream and that's kind of disturbing but as long as it's out of view right we'll try that i'm going to take it and i'm going to do two little tacks with it and if it holds up pretty good i'll finish it out ah, and we got another 100 zip ties because we went through 100 already thanks for watching guys i know these videos haven't been much lately i've been working things haven't been going my way i've got to build a fuel rail now i've got to cut an exhaust open and redo it and i got to fix my pan. That just set me back probably at least a week or two. And if I was to replace all these components, there's about $600 lost. So, yep, yep, yep. Don't trust your welder.